Ach, hier. Bryda? What are you doing in there? Detention. Absence without leave. Scrubbing latrines. Have you talked to the master about Draconia? No, and he isn't here either. From the harbor, go up the hill. His house is right on the corner by the wall. I don't believe my ears. Did you just tell this man where Master Bodiak lives? We expect much more out of you, Bryder. Stop disappointing us. She didn't do anything wrong. It was my fault. And you, Birdcatcher, leave the court immediately. I'm sorry. If Bryder's description is correct, this is the Master's house. Ah, my friend. How's the gemstone business? I had some trouble with a customer and I had to give it up. I'm sorry to hear that. I might need to ask another favor of you. My services are still at your disposal. The cucumber you gave me was very... fruitful. Well, she was cleaning latrines this morning. Yes, apparently she tried to catch the tillamide all on her own yesterday, and returned to the dormitory after curfew. The fact that she only had to clean latrines is a sign of the status she enjoys in the school. I think they want to make her the new headmaster someday. Well, headmistress, I suppose. See you later. Farewell, my friend. Master Bodiak, are you home? The windows are way too high up. Ah, oh, Fex, why can't this be easier? Blasted crows, haven't you caused enough trouble? Shoo, go away! Hey, those are my friends. Nuri? I'm sorry, I... I didn't see you there. What did they ever do to you? Don't you remember all the misery they caused? Of course I remember. But you have to be able to forget, too. What do you want? Hmm. I have to get into that house somehow. Can you fly through the window for me and look for a way in? Do I have to? It would help us both. All right. I can't. There are books on top. They look heavy. That would break my claws. Don't cause any mischief. I'll see you later. See you then. By the... Master Bodiac? Uh-oh. I can't reach it.
Some parts seem to be missing. I can't reassemble him. It looks old. The master must have been quite young when he caught that. None of the lockpicks work on the lock. Why? The key is just as fragile as Alric himself. I poured a little. I have to ask you for another favor. Can you harden this honey into a key? I like your ingenuity. Give it here. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. Thanks. Some parts seem to be missing. The wax is still in the way. I'm carefully scratching off the wax. By fix, it actually worked. Hands too big. If only I could lift that glowing thing out of there. A huge fortress on a mountain. Is that what Draconia looks like? I'll take a closer look at this. Hmm, a secret compartment. A petrified rat and drawings of the mask. Just like Alric. There are small scribbled notes all over. At the top it says, Finally an answer after all these years. The mask is in Draconia. I'll set out tomorrow. Another note says, Returned yesterday. Couldn't find the mask. The council refused to let me enter the fortress. But I bribed an adept and now the ruby is mine, although it's worthless without the artifact. Draconia. The mask. The ruby. Won't anybody tell me what all this is about? I'll scrape the dust into the container with the knife's edge. I poured the dust into the crack. Ha! A ruby? 
It's cracked. Ah, oh, my head. Uh, there's somebody in the next room. Oh, not again. Just this wall now. Then we'll be in Draconia. Help me. I can't get up there alone. Free my hands. If I do that, you'll kill me immediately. Correct. Oh, how he hates you, Sharizard. Understandably. Who likes being a slave? All he has to do is lift me over this, and we'll be there. The mask? Have you thought of something? Yes. Since we've been here, I am able to remember more and more. Tell me, on the inside of the mask, do you see any letters? Ah, uh -huh. I was right. Padan, Faskadan, Esplas de Quatan, Humirelor Gras Ferel Goran, Hul Bemutir, Gerul Felan, Juntir Quatan Feluntir Sodan. What language is that? The very, very old one. Malakar transliterated it syllable for syllable in the ancient Ptolemy lettering and had it etched over the old lettering. Place the mask on your prisoner and recite the incantation. Then he'll fulfill your every desire. What will happen when I speak the incantation? I don't remember exactly, but I know that it'll make him your servant, even with his hands free. He'll do whatever you ask of him. I can't memorize the spell. It's too difficult. Let me try. When the time comes, I'll tell you the words, and you can repeat them after me. How did you turn his hands to stone? With this spell. You can try it on the flower up there. And now, change it back. I was right! How much can this spell do? For the moment, my strength is only enough for plants and small animals. There was a time when I probably could have petrified an entire person, but the years must have weakened me. How is it that you remember that now? I don't know that. I, I think it's these mountains. It's as if I've been here before. I carried Malakar's mask with me, and I was looking for... looking for a garden? That is all I remember. If I succeed in placing the mask on Rahwan, perhaps we'll soon find out more. I need some warmth. It's too windy. I can't make a fire here. Much better already.
Duel, Asasha. I've got you now. Repeat after me. For Dan, Vasca Dan, Esplasta Quatan. For Dan, Vasca Dan, Esplasta Quatan. Humirillo, Gras, Ferel, Goran. Humorilo Gras, Ferel, Goran. Hul, Bemutir, Kelul, Felan. Bimotir Gerul Felan. You've almost got it. One more verse. Juntir Quatan Feluntir Stodan. Juntir Quatan Feluntir Sodan. Remove the mask from him. What's wrong with you? Can you hear me? Who are you? Who am I? What's wrong with him? He has lost his memory. <sighs> Forever? Yes, but is that not what you wanted? He no longer hates you. He will help you now. <sighs> There's nothing left of him. Without memories, he's just an empty husk. Not even he deserves such a fate. But, Princess, I... Shut up. You've helped me, but this goes too far. As soon as I'm in Draconia, I'll throw you away. How ungrateful you are, Princess. It'll be a pleasure to finally be rid of you. <sighs> Did I fall asleep again? Thank you for the ruby, Geron. Who... who said that? By the Twelve. Calm yourself, Geron. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? The mask made the Fakina dull and empty. The princess loosened his bond and let him lift her over the last hurdle and finally stood before the gates of Draconia. What's going on here? Do you want to solve the riddle, Geron? Do you want to help Nuri? Yes, but... Then prove to me that you aren't stupid. Hail, Traveler. Prios, save me. Draconia's gate is guarded by six elemental beings. Six beings with six riddles, which Sajia had to solve. Brothers and sisters are we, to each his element. Tell us who we are, and you too shall be known to us. You heard them. Tell the grotesque faces which element belongs to each of them, just as Sajia once did. And the path to Draconia will also be open to you. Keep me fed, or I will vanish away. Keep me in check, or I will harm you. Who am I? You are fire. I am the sister with the greatest patience. I shape my treasures for eons, and bear the face of the world. Who am I? I know the world like no other. One can reach through me, and yet I hide the greatest secrets. Who am I? You are water. Of all my siblings, I was the last to come into being. I give life to all, 
yet as I give, I also take back. Who am I? You are Earth. You are awe. Like my sister, I am sometimes hot, sometimes cold, and always in motion. But unlike her, I am always the same. Who am I? You are air. Keep me far from my sister. First, who? You are ice. It is done. The gate to Draconia is now open to you. I don't see anything. Step closer. Huh? Is he also petrified? He's holding something in his hand. A book. Geron, are you here? Bryder. Are you still here? Is Alric upstairs? Uh, no, he... He's lying back there on the floor. The heap of dust. You can't be serious. Maybe you should sit down. I have to show you something. Oh, interesting. It's a diary, written by an air elementalist who lived in Draconia during Sadia's times. Here, the upcoming battle in the Gorian Desert, the Holy Army outside our gates. We were also called upon to play a part in this unparalleled bloodbath. Do you think the book will give us a clue how to find the way to Draconia? Oh, Charon, the book is the way to Draconia, just as any book could be a gate. Oh, this looks like a good passage. <clears throat> Boron 19th, 590 after Bosporan's fall. I was on my way to the laboratories of the Oradeps when Admiral Wachim caught me by surprise in the main corridor. Your attitude is unacceptable, Xerxes. In three days, the demon hordes will fall upon Aventuria. If my army is destroyed, then it'll be your ignorance which brought us down. Oh, Admiral. I know, I know, but you exaggerate. We are simple elementalists. We've withdrawn to these halls because the concerns of the world weary us. We're not warriors. You command the elements. You could set whirlwinds upon the enemy hordes with your spirits, or an infernal firestorm. Keshal Ri itself attests to your power. Floating stones are one thing. War is another. You'll have to fight your little skirmish alone. I repeated my words of the day before, emphasized that we didn't see a threat to the balance of the spheres, and even permitted myself a small sophisticated pun on the military zeal of our times, which, to my disappointment, went over his head. And then the spirits at the gate suddenly opened the portal. Are you expecting someone? No. Hmm. Welcome to the Council of the Elements. How, uh, can I help you? My name is Sadia. I come from Fazar. Fazar? A long way. Did you come the whole way on foot? Yes. Is this Draconia? Yes, the Council of the Elements in Draconia. You require the services of an Elementalist? I'm here to join the Holy Army. I want to fight in the Gore. I'm afraid I have nothing to do with that. Let me know if you learn any more about him. What can you do? Can you fight? Use magic? I'm looking for a prince. I'm supposed to give him this mask. 
That's is. Take her to the prince. But I'd rather... At once. <laughs> if you'd follow me... I must admit we are a bit, uh, how shall I put it, surprised by your arrival. Not many people stray here. To be honest, it's also a blessing for me. The Admiral is beginning to get on my nerves. Did you know that Draconia was built by dragons? All the wonders of this world in one place. And behind every passageway lies a new surprise. And that man wants us to drop everything and fight in his ridiculous little war. Can you imagine it? May I ask what's so special about this mask? It once belonged to a powerful mogul mage. Ah, the moguls. Unpleasant fellows. Fortunately, they are from another age than ours. Ah, time. Isn't time an astonishing thing? At first glance, everything in Draconia seems so gigantic, and we seem so small. But that is nothing in comparison to the monumental size of the time which slumbers in these halls. According to our understanding, this is the oldest structure in Aventuria. Almost as old as time itself. I hope you have healthy lungs. This stairway is horrible. And here's another ancient wonder that leaves us absolutely awestruck. A star system, but fascinatingly, not our own. Who built it? And why? Does it show the past? Or a distant future? I propose that it shows both. And another staircase. Ah, the zucchini. I love zucchini. Why is Draconia so empty? I thought you were about to go to war. Where's the army? Wrong. We, that is the Council, have decided to stay out of this war. We're being pressured to change our minds, but as long as the balance of the spheres isn't disturbed, we see no reason to do so. Blast it. Does that mean there's no army here? Yes, there is. Over there. The Flying Fortress Keshalri. A masterpiece of elemental air magic. Do you have any more questions before I take you to the Prince? What's wrong with your legs? I was born with very weak legs. So weak that they didn't grow with the rest of my body. Since then, an air spirit has carried me through life. The Holy Army is in the fortress? Yes, an entire army of clerics. A second army is currently marching from Zorgan to Gore. In three days, the two forces will meet right before the plateau and enter the battle together. All that effort just to die. Tragic. Who is the prince? The fortress is carried by hundreds upon hundreds of air spirits bound in special crystals so-called floating stones. The prince is a master of domination magic. He ensures that the spirits remain in the stones and do what is asked of them. But why a prince? As Admiral Vahim always puts it so nicely, in times like these, one takes what one can get. Take me to the fortress. I must see this prince. And once again, you draw hasty, false conclusions. The prince is no longer in the fortress, but rather here, in this hole. Take my hand. Right, there we are. <laughs> I lured you into a pretty trap, eh? Yes. The prince is a prisoner, and yes, you played into his hands. Do you have anything to say in your defense? What did he do? 
He tampered with the floating stones of the Flying Fortress. He is evil, and thus we've taken him prisoner. You don't know anything about this? This room is a prison? Draconia has no dungeon, so we had to do a bit of thinking. We're directly above the Sphere's observatory here. The magic of the observatory keeps the matrix of this room stable, which makes it impossible to do magic here. You understand the principle? No. Well, it's really quite simple. What does the prince want with the mask? Who knows? I didn't even know until now that such an artifact existed. Let me go. I brought the mask here under a misunderstanding. I'm innocent. I know. On the way up here, I cast a few spells on you. I know that you mean no evil. Well, then? Hmm. Before I let you go, give me the mask, your staff, and the dagger. It can be no other way. Wait! Are you out of your mind? But you brought me here. Don't worry, mage. By all means, you may keep the mask. I don't need it yet. You see? Now give it to me. Is this what you wanted? Why are you doing this? Now all that's missing is the dagger and the stuff. If you want something from me, you'll have to come and get it. You can't be serious! And now the dagger. <sighs> I'll be right back. Whoever you are, thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia! How long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace. Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then, I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. That's where you're mistaken. I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Take my hand. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. How do you think they knew each other? He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the maid knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. I took the woman to her chambers. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. 
I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. We'll meet again at dawn. Good night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No!